It's Friday, June 26, 2009. I'm your host, Peter Bush. This is the interview segment of the Morning Swim Show and the U.S. World Championship Trials just a week or so away. And one of the coaches that's going to have a lot of swimmers vying for top spots on that team, Eddie Reese from Texas, joins us right now on the phone. Coach, what are you up to? Well, trying to find out what suit to wear. <laughs> I want to get to the suit thing in a minute because you always have some entertaining opinions on that. But um, first of all, how, how are all your swimmers doing? And do you have pretty much all of your top swimmers uh, ready to go, at least the ones that are still competing, you know, ready to go for the World Championship Trials? There, everybody that has a cut is going to the meet. And they're, judging by the last meet, we're in, we're, in a pretty good spot going into the meet. Sometimes a coach has a has a feeling about a swimmer that's maybe going to have a breakout meet or do something special. Do you have that feeling about any of your guys? About twelve of them. <laughs> well, lucky you. Uh, well, give us a name or two. Um, Scott Jostis, who started his career as a. Uh, Flyer backstroker and a hunt and didn't like the two hundreds of either. And and in his second year at school he goes one thirty three two flat start two hundred three and none of us know where that came from. But he's been very focused and working hard. And then Jimmy Fegan who has had uh, ever since the high school state championships where he set two national records, which remarkably have withstood the challenge of all the new suits that are out there. It's set up. He had a great short course season, and he is one of these years he's going to set the long course world on its ear. He is really good. Well, I think America's going to need some sprinters like that because, um, you know, despite what they did last year in Beijing, I think it's pretty clear that the French are going to be gunning for that world record in the 400 free relay. Uh, do you think the Americans can hang with them in Rome? Well, to be totally honest, which I don't like to do, but had I had to put money on that race in Beijing... I'd have probably put it on the French because I thought they had everything going for them. And it just goes to show that there is, there's nothing for sure out there. And our relay did a great job. And now they know that kind of swimming is possible. And everybody saw it, knows that it's possible to be, to be better than you think you can. And I think it's real important. And as far as the world championships, the French will be there. We'll be there. The Australians will be there. It'll be a be a, a watch again. What uh, What do you make of this suit? Uh, the latest controversy in all of this suit um, suit talk. I mean, nobody can seem to figure out what to do. Well, we haven't had time to work with the suits that are purported to be the fastest suits in the world. And looking at the times, they may, may well be, but we, our best swimmers haven't had them on. They don't know if it suits their body style or feels the way they want it to feel. And that puts a lot, a lot of mystery out there, and we've already got enough mystery when you work real hard and you try to hit your taper and... Then to throw the suit mystery in there is, is really tough. But overall, we've got rules for right now. As long as everybody can get the suit that they want, let's go race. We'll find out. Coach, are you at a drive through No way. I've just got a carload of people that um, I told them they didn't have to hang up. Or, or be quiet. Well, Coach, I appreciate you taking a few minutes for us on the show here, and uh, good luck in Indy. All right. Thanks, Peter. All right. We'll see you. Bye-bye. That's Coach Eddie Reese joining us on the road with the family. We appreciate his time. And that is it for the interview segment today. 
and we'll see you next time.